Hey, Gray Steel Nation, Sully here with the Barbell Prescription, keeping you strong and healthy in the second half of life. Thanks for watching and subscribing, and thanks to you wonderful Patreon patrons out there for your generous support. As 2021 comes to an end, many, if not most of us, are afflicted by a deep anxiety and foreboding. Recently, things have not gone well for us, meaning humanity. Authoritarianism is on the rise. We can't seem to shake a stubborn, grisly pandemic. Misinformation and the most vile forms of propaganda are rampant. Supposedly, civilized nations engage in brazen oppression and even genocide. Ecosystems are being devoured wholesale. We're in the middle of a mass extinction event, and they just will not stop making those Fast and Furious movies. It looks grim out there, people. But check it out. The other day, the human race gave itself a remarkable Christmas present in the form of the James Webb Telescope, a new, long, visible, near-infrared space telescope. This device is one of the most extraordinary instruments ever designed, much less built, and solves daunting problems of weight, sensitivity, and thermal regulation that many thought were intractable. The Webb is something astronomers and cosmologists have lusted after for decades a large space-based telescope able to see in the infrared, allowing it to peer through dust at both luminous objects like stars and non-luminous objects like exoplanets. This telescope will allow us not only to visualize exoplanets, that is, planets beyond our solar system, but also to visualize the first stages of star and galaxy formation, including protostars and protogalaxies forming relatively early after the Big Bang. That is extraordinary, to say the least. We are a strange species. Time and again, in the very throes of catastrophe, we continue to make progress. Look at the history of the Dark Ages, or the Wars of Religion, or the Napoleonic Wars, or the Civil War, or the World Wars. Humanity at its worst. And yet, all of these interludes showed ongoing innovation, investigation, inquiry, and a striving for justice and compassion and order that was always valued, even in the breach. The very mission of the web reminds us that we are living in a privileged time, an age when the universe is a light, full of complexity and comprehensible. It has not always been so, and it will not always be so. The universe was once dark and unfathomably hot and dense, and one day it will be dark again and unfathomably cold and empty. Even before the universe fades, it will be increasingly incomprehensible. One day, the cosmic horizon will expand beyond our view, and all evidence of the earlier epochs and vaster realms of the cosmos will be lost forever. You know, cosmologists are very fond of this simple plot of entropy versus complexity over the life of the universe. We live in the sweet spot when complexity, life, and some capacity to apprehend the full majesty and mystery of creation are still possible. Oh, come on now, you must feel an analogy brewing up here. Yes, of course I'm going to say we are like that, especially because I've always been fond of thinking of man as microcosm. We begin life as a hot mess and end up cold and empty, and it's always a bumpy road from start to finish. But it's those very bumps, as a cosmologist might say, that make complexity, differentiation, beauty, and the meaning of our lives possible. At the peak of our powers and even beyond, we have a microcosmic perspective. We can see where we've been and where we're going. And in seeing, we apprehend a truth that confronts us with anxiety, hope, and responsibility. And that is simply this. We can be at our best and our worst at the same time. That is true of a cosmos which can nurture life and also wipe out a biosphere in an instant. It's true of a civilization that seems to want to wallow in the gutter of barbarism once every century or so. And it's true of each one of us. We can catch ourselves being cruel and kind, considerate and thoughtless, disciplined and weak, sometimes on the same day or so I've been told. Our triumphs don't relieve us of the responsibility to strive to be better, and our sins and foibles don't condemn us to an eternal failure. Success is not final. 
failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. So said Churchill, and he knew a thing or two about dark days, personal failure, and barbarism. 2022 is likely to be a difficult year again, like all the other years. But you're here. You live in the sweet spot of cosmic history and in the sweet spot of your own history. I know it because you're watching this. You're still learning, growing, searching, training, striving, hoping. You fall down, you get up. And in the midst of a crappy winter, you reach for your own stars and your own discoveries and reveal your own personal, very human cosmology. Revel in your time, be ever grateful, be never satisfied, and have a joyous and happy new year. You are my inspiration and my purpose. I'll see you on the platform. Thank you.